Hello guys, welcome to the latest episode of Big Trip. Departing now is the 1431 Transport for Wales service to Milford Haven, 175114. And today I am at Manchester Piccadilly on the West Coast Main Line, terminus point of the West Coast Main Line and various other lines heading over to various different places. This is for the latest episode of the Big Trip and today you'll be seeing services from Northern, Virgin Trains, Cross Country, Trans Pennine Express and East Midlands Trains. So have I missed any out there? Northern Cross Country, East Midlands Trains, Trans Pennine Express. But, nah, I've remembered them all, that's alright. Okay, arriving now is a Trans Pennine Express service from Manchester Airport to Newcastle. Wonderville 185. And it's 185119. Also, the parting is a 323, 323226. Heading over on a northern service, which is from Liverpool Lime Street to Crewe, that's just going via Manchester Airport. But from Liverpool, really a 323. That is so wrong. That's a long way. Three two three two two six. So joining me at Manchester Piccadilly today is SC Trains. Also Cheltenham Rail Enthusiast who will be here a bit later. He's gone off swanning off to Manchester Airport for a bit of fun, apparently. So yeah, I guess so. Um, yeah, so uh, the train you saw was 175114, that was on the 1431 to Milford Haven. You also saw 221135, that was on the 1427 cross-country service to Bournemouth. You saw Virgin Trains, a 390 terminating in from Euston. This is forming the uh, 1455 Virgin Train service to London Euston, which will go via Wilmslow and Crewe. Um, so yeah, you've seen quite a bit here. You saw 354, well, 354 is coming up actually in the next clip. So there you go, there's a little bit of a giveaway. Um, but yes, because I filmed it before I did the intro, because I kind of wanted to get it. So not fully chronological, but it's close enough. Arriving in, we have 185142. And that's terminating here from, I believe, from Hull. My presumption is that's from Hull, or it could be from Leeds. It's one of the two. Probably Leeds, actually. But who knows? Anyway, we also have a Dash 1 and a Dash 2, or maybe two Dash 1s, who knows? They're coming in on a northern service. They are also probably terminating here as well. I think if, uh, or it might be Wigan actually. They are on a northern service terminating here. 150, 147 is the front. Uh, there's a dash two at the rear. No, it's a dash one. One and one eight. One, one eight. 118, 150, 118, there's 150, 110. I know that's on a northern service to uh, Old Lee Edge from Wigan, Northwestern, because I saw that at Wilmslow earlier. So I definitely know that's uh, on a Old Lee Edge service. Oh you no, know, the green bar just says nothing. So um, if you do wish to check out any real time updates and trips and posts, please do check out my Facebook group, the link's in the description. You'll find that at this, in this video, it'll be a lot longer because I'm here for like three hours. So maybe just under that but I'm looking to try and get a bit of everything. I did that with Clapham Junction, I did it with Stockport, I'm doing it with this station as well. Departing now is the 1435, ignore me, Virgin Train service to London Euston, which is actually going via Stoke-on-Trent then. 390, 103. I'll go away, East Midlands trains are turning up now on an East Midlands train service from Norwich to Liverpool Lime Street. Sorry, Norwich and Nottingham. Now 
Now, if I'm not mistaken, that service will call at Stockport, Milton, um, Stoke-on-Trent, Milton Keynes Central, and London Euston. Here is 158865. Heading in on the uh, free platforms, which we will be getting some shots from later. And 158808. As 151101564441 depart. Well, that one's spot on. It was 441. I wasn't too sure actually. I remember it was the first train I saw at Wilmslow. <laughs> Literally the first one in that video. Okay, so. Uh, we've filmed here for six minutes now and I've not even like said my phrase. So let's see what's on for here, shall we? Let's get started here at Manchester Piccadilly. You'll be seeing clips from different angles in this video, so you'll find it a bit different to the last one I did, but hopefully a bit more interesting because I'll be filming from different angles and different trains. Let's get started here at Manchester Piccadilly with Sam. Here departing out now is the 1428 Transpennine Express service from Glasgow Central to Manchester Airport, 35407. Also Pendolino, 39006. That's heading over to Manchester Airport from Glasgow Central. As 39006 arrives in, heading to terminate here from London Euston. Free entertainment on board, and look, there's Deadpool! Mr. Break the Fourth Wall. Air 323228 has also gone out, heading to Hadfield as well. There goes that one. 39103 is here as well. Okay, so as um, a 319 turns up on a northern service, terminating here, I believe. Also arriving in, we have an East Midlands train service to Norwich from Liverpool, Lime Street. It's 158864. And a over here is 152.14 on the 14.41 Northern Service to Chester. New livery dash two, and there's also a pacer approaching. And also a pendolino approaching. And also um, a rocket and a bear and a lion. Joking, right. Uh, so, what the, what on earth? That is not on, what is that doing? I just read up what that one, what that East Midlands train service is doing. That's going to Norwich and Derby. Oh, why is it going to Derby? When does it go to Derby? Right, there it is anyway, we'll find out in a minute. There's a 142, that's terminating in from Rose Hill Marple. I should be right in saying that, yeah, I think it is Rose Hill Marple, that one. And approaching in is said Pendolino, which is terminating in from London Euston. And it's 390 131. Now departing is the 1445. Um, I think. Yeah, East Midlands train service to Norwich and Derby. I'm going to find out exactly what that service is doing because I've never seen that before. Five eight seven seven four, both heading for the lovely Norwich. Well, no, actually, one's heading for Norwich, one's heading for Derby. 
Right, I'm going to establish exactly what's gone on with that one because that is really weird. When did, when on earth did they ever go to Derby from Liverpool? Time to find out, I guess. Uh, so this is... Let's find out. Oh no, I think it, I know what it does. 319369 also arriving. I know what it does now. That's fine. So that 319369 arriving, that's heading for uh, Blackpool North from Manchester Airport. That's the 1446 service. And departing as well, 323234. On the other four, it's 1446, Northern Service to Stoke-on-Trent. So there goes that one as well. And off goes 15106. Well, here is 15106, I should say. Next lot of the X Great Western Railway, sorry, the X Great Western Railway unit saga continues with 106 arriving. So here it is. Okay, arriving now is the 1452 Transport for Wales service to Clandidno from Manchester Airport. It's 175007. Also arriving is the 1455 Transport for Wales service from Clandidno to Manchester Airport. So basically, the vice versa. Both trains are crossing over here at Piccadilly. And by the way, if you wanted to know where I am, I'm on the three platforms. I'm on the very far end where you can actually look over the building. What a lovely part of the station this is. This uh, 1752 uh, Manchester Airport is 175109. So that's the one, that's uh, the 1455 to Manchester Airport, which will go all the way up the other end. And this is 175007, which will be going via Warrington Bank Key and Chester to go to Clandidno. It's going to loads of calling points. I'm not even going to bother pronouncing them because I'll do awful at doing it. So, yes. Okay, the party now is the 1452 Transport for Wales service to Clandidno from Manchester Airport, 175007. I'll show you the view as it goes out as well. So, if you walk down here, as it goes out, you zoom in on it, and you can literally see the straight track that goes all the way down there. And that heads over to Manchester Oxford Road, which is that state, which is that train's next calling point, literally around the corner. But I'm not even going there today, so. But I promise you it won't be long till I do. Okay, arriving here is 319382, arriving in on the 1459 Northern service to Manchester Airport from Blackpool North. Okay, arriving now is the uh, 1501 Northern service to Preston from Manchester Airport. It's formed of a 185 which they've hired in. Let's it's 185123. So that's a 1501 transfer. Um, oh, I did it already. Northern service to Preston from Manchester Airport. Uh, that's an on hire service. Using a 185. Will be okay, the party now is 319382 on the 1459 Northern service from Blackpool North to Manchester Airport as a 142 also pops up there. The party now is the 319 though.
And also arriving in is a terminating cross-country service from Paynton. This would be the 1007 service from Paynton to Manchester Piccadilly, which is now arriving in. It's formed of a five car 221. And if I zoom in on it, it's 221120. That will then be forming the uh, uh, 1527 service to Bournemouth. Oh dear, he turned one of his engines off as he was still coming into the station. That is awful, why would you do that? Well, I guess they can do it, but that, that really doesn't help things, surely. There goes a 323 as well. He turned his engine off. As part of it came in, it was still going in and he turned one of the engines off. What did it turn, it, what did it turn itself off? It's a mystery now, isn't it? There goes a 323 as well. Anyway, heading over somewhere. Okay, arriving now is the 1505 Trans Pennine Express service to Middlesbrough from Manchester Airport. This one I'll also film going out. 185 128. We've also got some freight Please going through, but I don't really have a lot of storage to get out, I'm afraid. Okay, the fine now is the 1505 Trans Pennine Express service. Heading to Middlesbrough from Manchester Airport. Now it's a 1509 Northern service from Manchester Airport to Liverpool Lime Street. Double 156 on this one. That doesn't sound good. One five six four two four and one five six four two eight, and I kind of think that that first one five six actually sounded like a one seventy more than it did a one five six. Did you absolutely? Did you hear that thing? That was mental. I heard it from Manchester. Yeah, it sounded really weird. It didn't sound that thing. No, that's not lasting. Not all day it is. Okay, arriving now is one eight five one oh one two six. under the canopy now at Manchester Piccadilly because why not? Before I at least come and have a look. This is the 1507 Trans Pennine Express service to Manchester Airport from Cleethorpes and if you look here as well as that one comes in there's another one, that's the 1519 Trans Pennine Express service going to Cleethorpes from Manchester Airport. This is a security message. If you see yeah, both, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, there it is. Okay, arriving here we have a 150 1. You can just about see it pop up over there. I don't actually get it. I think it's 150 Oh, oh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wonder what dash one it is. Yeah. 
That's a 150 1, but the rear of it was 151.22. And there goes, uh, <laughs> there's a 156 as well. So we're over on the um, on another platform now to get the 185 leaving in a minute. There's actually two of them here, so. It's 156.443. Oh, wow. 158.843. Lovely, a Northern 158. But what's that doing here? I don't think they served Manchester. Well, I don't think they did, but... Huh? Yeah, so that's 158843 there. And with 156. What a weird combo. Okay, the party now is the delayed 1507 Trans Pennine Express service to Manchester Airport from Cleethorpes. Install car now. Okay, what are we installing? It just says install car now on the Alex. The back of that 185 said install car now. The back of that 185, the digital display said install a car now. What are we installing? Windows? It's quite old, so probably Windows XP. Okay, so as that one goes out, the pine now is the 1519, which is actually on time. Trans Pennine Express service to Cleethorpes from Manchester Airport. That 185 must have been really late because it's meant to have waiting time here as well. Not that one, but the one before it. 21 Trans Pennine Express service to Manchester Airport from Edinburgh, which is a 185, weirdly enough. It's 106. Arriving here is a 1526 Trans Pennine Express service to Glasgow Central. 350 407. Okay, the pie now is the 1526 Trans Pennine Express service to Glasgow Central from Manchester Airport. Also coming through is a 70 for Freightliner. This is 35407 the parting as well, by the way. Play the calling points for that one in a minute, but passing through is 70 And as that 350 goes out, by the way, that's calling at Preston, uh, Lancaster, Oxenholm Lake District, Carlisle. Um, Lockerbie and Motherwell, Glasgow Central. So Carlisle, Lockerbie, Motherwell and Glasgow Central. If it was going to Edinburgh, it would be Carlisle, Lockerbie, Haymarket and Edinburgh. But it's Glasgow, so it would be Motherwell and Glasgow Central. Usually a stop in between every the Scottish terminus and Lockerbie, so. Although on a fun fact, right? Question of the video. There is a Trans Pennine Express service which departs 
um, a Scottish terminus, not, that's not the question by the way, uh, at 0407, something like that anyway. And it does a irregular stop at a station on the way, but can you name what station it is? Answer will be in the description, but if you can comment it, have a guess. What station do you think that 0407 to uh, to Manchester Airport, what do you think it's irregular, which means not very often, or once a day, calling point is? arriving in we have 142036 Okay, I knew that 185 was too good to be true. Actually turning up is the actual 1531 Transpennine Express service from Edinburgh Waverley to Manchester Airport. <laughs> this is the actual one. That's why I wondered why there was a 185 on it, but it turns out it's actually a 350, so there you go. 350, 409. Yeah, so 1529, I was right after all. That's delayed coming in. I honestly thought that 185 was it. That was it, but it wasn't. So departing now is the 1531 Northern service, which begins here at Manchester Piccadilly to Blackpool North, which is formed of a pacer, which is 142036, and clock 150106 XGWR on the rear. There's 15106 at the rear. Happy days, happy, happy days, days. There's lots of happy days here. And there we go, that goes up to Blackpool North. Okay, arriving now to 1533, Northern service from Liverpool Lime Street to Crewe. It's 323238. Time now is the uh, 1535 Transpennine Express service from Manchester Airport to Newcastle. And it's 185-131. Okay, arriving now is the 1538 East Midlands train service from Norwich and Nottingham to Liverpool Lime Street. Platform 14, problem 1538 East Midlands train. 858856 856 would be the one that's off um, Norwich as well. Okay, the fine now is the 1538 East Midlands train service to Liverpool Lime Street. 
This is from Norwich and Nottingham with the front set from Nor Nottingham, rear set from Norwich. And arriving in is actually the other East Midlands train service to Norwich, I believe. Five eight eight five four has a nameplate on it with station volunteer. It says on there, pretty good. You can see in the shadow there. In comes the fifteen thirty nine East Midlands train service to Norwich. 15, 15, 42, 42 East even East then. Service to Norwich. Calling at Stockport, Sheffield, Bromfield. Chesterfield, Alfreton, and Nottingham, where the train. This one calls it Dronfield as well, which is different. Please make sure. One five eight eight five seven. One five eight eight six two. There's that one. Fifteen forty two East Midlands train service to Norwich that calls at Stockport, Sheffield, Dronfield, Chesterfield, Alverton, um, Nottingham, and then it divides and it'll be Grantham, uh, Peterborough, and then Ely, Thetford and Norwich. So there goes that one. Okay, arriving in now, in off Blackpool North is a terminating Northern service. 156461. Five, Following along with a new livery, 156 at the rear. Okay, the party now is the Northern 156s. They'll be forming the 1631 service to Blackpool North. They're just going to be turning around, probably waiting in a siding for a little while. 156461. Three of it is 156466. And a new livery. I haven't actually seen a new livery 156 all day. And then one just pops up there, so very nice. Off it goes to the siding to form the 1631 later on, which I won't be filming by the way, to Blackpool North. Okay, the pine, that's 1551. Trans Pennine Express service to Manchester Airport, and this is from Newcastle. Also arriving in is 175109, heading to Clandidno on the 1550. 1553 service. Be heading back over to the main platform bit to get some shots uh, after this uh, nice little surprise pops up in a minute. But there's the 175 anyway, that's uh, heading to Clandidno from Manchester Airport. There you go, 1552 service. There it is over there on platform 14. Yes, platform 14. Okay, arriving in is our little surprise for this video. It is a terminating transport for Wales service from Hollyhead and it's formed of a DVT, so it's not really a class, but it is, the, it is an 82 driving van trailer. Following on the rear of it is a DB Cargo in EWS livery 67. 
it is what we would normally call the North South Premier, but then it's not going to the south. So I think it's called or nicknamed the Gerald, but I could be wrong there. But it's terminating here from Hollyhead anyway. And finally, I've caught it. And now I can officially say I've seen everything by Transport for Wales. It's 82308. And it's a Slandor set as well. I think everything's Slandor here though. All right, the Pine, that's 1555 Virgin Train Service to London Euston with 39117. It's Blue Peter on the uh, sticker. It's not really a nameplate anymore, really, is it? It's not as a plated, it's just stuck on there, painted on there now. It's a name paint, we'll go with that. 39117, it's on the 1545, sorry. Virgin Train Service to London Euston, calling at Stockport, Wilmslow, Crewe, and London Euston. And there's 391... 153, oh okay, came back again. Been here long enough for it to come back, because for that Wilmslow. So that's terminated in from Euston as well. That's the 1615 service to Euston via Stoke-on-Trent. Okay, departing now will be 82308 and whatever 67 will pop up on the rear. Uh, forming an ECS. Now this has terminated in from Hollyhead on the, what, what I believe to be called the Gerald and is now departing to, to do its ECS. Sounded absolutely gorgeous. That sounded stunning. Oh my god, that was amazing. 67020 makes up the rear of that one. That was insane. How good was that? That is literally the icy on top of the cake here. What a brilliant departure. There it goes down there as well. Platform 13 for the 15 Houston. Okay, the now is the 1605 cross country service to Bristol Temple Meads. And London Houston. I'm on platform 4 of uh, Manchester Piccadilly now. That's 220.020. As a dash one comes in the background for Pacer, but I don't really have a lot of time to film it, so. But there it is anyway, that one. Uh, 150. 129. 139 even. 129 with the GWR one at normal. 142064. Okay, arriving in now, we've got a double pairing of paces. They're terminating in from, I believe, New Mills Central. I could be wrong though, but I think they're from New Mills Central. Um, 142041. No, they're an ECS actually, it's 142037 at the rear. Yeah, it's an empty stock move. So that's actually going to be forming a service to somewhere. But I'm not actually too sure where. 
then and that time's up at the moment so 1528 Trans Pennine Express service from Huddersfield will now arrive at platform 3 Looking out for it. I think she made another announcement about it, but not still not here yet. Okay. Okay, arriving now is what will be the 1617 Trans Pennine Express service to Huddersfield. Be terminating in from Huddersfield as well. 185112 Yeah, I was one one. Right. It is New Mill Central, yeah. 19. Um, am I right in saying that? No, oh, well, there's two paces over there, but 1621, we'll be going to New Mill Central, it's these pace, this pace over there, and then there's a 323, which is on the far end, which is obviously not connected up with it, but that will be forming the 1621 to New Mill Central. Platform 11 for the 1624 Northern Service to... Okay, departing now. It's a 1615 Virgin train service to London Euston. As a Voyager, that's going to be forming a 1627 to Bournemouth. And that's 220018. Just want to let you know what that is in case you're wondering. So it goes that 1615 Northern, um, wow, Virgin train service to uh, London, Euston. That's 1615, so that will be calling uh, Stockport, Macclesfield, Stoke on Trent, and Manchester Piccadilly. I think, yes. Okay, you're now to 1617 Trans Pennine Express service to Huddersfield, which is 185112 on its reversing departure. Right, terminating now is a Transport for Wales service from Carmarthen. Us departing is a 1621 Northern service in New Mills Central. 175106 as the paces go out. The pace are in 150 actually. Didn't get a pacer number I'm afraid. But the rear of it is 150-139. Right, we saw that. It was 142067 or something like that. 175106, on the other hand, has just arrived in. That's going to be forming the 1631 TFW, or Transport for Wales, service to Milford Haven. And then the next one, the 1731, is a Pembroke Dock service. No, it's not. It's a Tempe No, it's not. It's a Carmarthen service. On the Saturday, it's a Pembroke Dock service. Um, yeah, because one of the 10 B's already gone, so yeah. Right, guys, I'm going to finish the video from Manchester Piccadilly here because I'm going to be. Uh, I need to get myself sorted for my train home, and also I need to go toilet, I need to go return this badge, I need to do loads of stuff. So, 
Thank you all for watching this video from Manchester Piccadilly. If you have liked what you've seen here, please do like and subscribe. Please do leave any comments because I will get back to them as and when I can and any recommendations are welcomed. So please do leave us in the comments. I had to do it on purpose, I'm sorry. Um, this station is really, really good. Oh, by the way, joining me is Cheltenham Rail Enthusiasts and SE Trains. Do check out their channels. This station has been the best one today by a country mile. Stockport and Manchester Piccadilly are two of the best stations in the Northwest. They literally have the most insane amount of variety. Both of them are just so good. 323237, by the way, terminating in from Hadfield. Um, do you know what? This station has just so much version trains, the Pendolinos so frequently, cross country with their Voyagers, Trans Pennine with their brilliant 185s and their 350s, Transport for Wales with the 175s, and also a lovely, lovely appearance from the uh, from the Express 82 and the 67. God, that was good. Um, East Midlands trains with the 158s, pairings were great. Northern just topped it off with lots of XGWR Dash 1s, some Pacers, some 156s, and even a 158s. So absolutely brilliant. I could not fault this station one bit. I could say it's probably good if you like standing in one place, but it's also good if you like navigating around the station, you like a sense of adventure like me, because I have navigated around the station and covered it from many angles. And I'll tell you something, it's well worth it. Because some things are so hidden behind these Virgin Train Pendolinos that you just can't see what's going on behind all this. But obviously these are like the new mills and the uh, Rose Hill platforms etc and then you've got the Express platforms and you've got the Morlow Blackpool and the Hazel Grove and the Buxton platforms over there then you've got the through platforms that take you to Manchester Airport and over to Oxford Road so you know absolutely brilliant um, I've fallen in love with Piccadilly I will always be coming back here I loved it last time I loved it even more this time because um, this time I think I've covered it in a way that I don't think I've ever would have thought I would have done before which means that I need to challenge myself to go and do it to Leeds again I need to go and do it to stations like Edinburgh and Glasgow Central uh, well not so much Glasgow, Glasgow's easy but uh, Edinburgh definitely and stations like, I don't know um, a lot of the London terminals I need to give them a go and try this as well um, because it's, it's really quite a good technique just to navigate around and try and cover as many angles as you can. I really enjoy doing it. So yeah, for variety, this station has so much on offer that you just can't turn it down. This station is amazing. Oh my god, a double 323. Who would have thought? Nice way to end it. Didn't think you'd get double 323s here, but there you go. This one's uh, also popping in. It's 323231 and 323227. So yeah, nice way to end it. So a magnificent station is Manchester Piccadilly, well worth a visit. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching this insanely fun and uh, probably long video, but it's well worth it. This station has so much and there's something in every clip. So, you know, I hope you enjoy this. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have watched the end, well done, because I don't know how long this video is, but there you go. Um, the next station for me is on Big Trip again, and it's going to be from Stafford. So I should see you all at Stafford. Again, you know the next Rover episode, it's going to be from um, Shawford, so you know that. Uh, but the next episode on my channel will be from uh, from Stafford on the West Coast Main Line for Big Trip. So, thank you all for watching guys. And from me here at the mighty Manchester Piccadilly, I shall bid you all adieu. Now, um, yeah, thank you for watching guys. And I'll see you all at Stafford. Goodbye.